Ludwig Gerdensen won his second Academy Award for Oppenheimer. And in his speech, uh, he said to my parents, thank you for giving me guitars and drum machines instead of video games. Classic FM cherry picked that little sentence. He also said a lot of great things besides those things. And of course, this quote has uh, definitely spurred some controversy and conflict and heated debate per usual, uh, which I'm sure will die down in 12 hours, about uh, lowballing and hitting video games where it counts and uh, sort of reducing video game music and reducing video games as a, as a thing that's secondary to that ec education. And I think, you know, for starters, I think it's not really fair to ever assume a person's intentions when they say there's things I get misinterpreted all the time uh, in, in these videos. And I would hate to think that we're misinterpreting something that really means nothing. It's like not a big deal. But I think it's a really interesting discussion about what it means uh, as video game fans to, you know, be, be constantly dealing with these sort of comments, uh, whether they're intentional or unintentional, like in the case of this. You know, I think it's an interesting discussion about, you know, are we as gamers just so sensitive to the fact that we just want to be taken seriously and we want people to understand that video games are high art and they're serious and they're important. And I think there's room for that. But then also, you know, there's there's, there's always this this conflict that we have with other sources of media and and. I don't know, staying in our lane and stuff. And my parents gave me voice lessons. They gave me piano lessons. And I had PlayStation and Nintendo all the way through. And, and I was on the trajectory and the path to a wonderful career until I decided to sort of retire. My friend Rene Barbera is a classic example of someone who actively plays video games every day. And he's one of the world's leading tenors in the classical world. And he's doing just fine. And he's been able to play video games his entire life with zero issues. You know, so I think, I think... I think the frustration here for a lot of people is just that it's a really low blow and it's a really easy like sort of crotch shot, if you will, to be like, well, video games are a waste of time. Video games are essentially not art. Video games are an impediment to success when I think so many people could attribute video games and video game music to discovery, discovery of passions, discovery of new jobs, discoveries of potential certainly like i said that was the case for me i think we need to be careful uh to not get oversensitive when things like this are said just remember that advocating for video games is really important and we can do that without crucifying somebody in the process uh but at the same time i i think that it's healthy and normal to be like well i don't understand why why do you have to include video games in that sentence you could have just ended it at drum machines it's almost like video games are a waste of time. And, um, and that's sort of, you know, one has to grapple with that. I, uh, I certainly feel that video games have enhanced my life, enhanced the experience of living. And so many of the cornerstones of my life have been made impactful and have been more important because video games were involved. Some of my favorite moments of my life were because of video games. And that has sort of led me to this career uh, today. And I think that video games are works of art and no one that is watching this video is probably going to disagree with that statement. We know that video games are art and video games are an important corner of the world uh, artistically. And they make for compelling and moving stories. They certainly make more money than movies at this point, which is also an interesting discussion about how we can malign video games at the Oscars when video games make substantially more money than movies do and are way more in demand in a lot of ways than movies are. I think, I think it's a really interesting discussion because when I asked a bunch of classical musicians how they felt about video game music and if they felt that video game music was less than classical music, the majority of people that I know that are actively working in the industry, whether they are teachers, uh, performers, you know, all of the instrumentalists, whatever, the vast majority of people said, why can't we have do both? Por que no los dos? And I think that that is really, really, really apparent. There's always going to be elitism when it comes to Hollywood, when it comes to classical music, when it comes to even video games themselves. But most people are beyond that concept of having one or the other. And I think that this is a really interesting thing that 
I don't think Ludwig Göransson meant this, but uh, it has sparked a new debate over the fact that why can't we have both? Why can't you have guitars, drum machines, and video games? And video game music. Some would even say that video game music is more impactful than movie music. Now, I'm a huge fan of John Williams and Joe Hasaishi, so I mean, like, you know, I think like those folks could happily, I would invite them to make video game music, and I would enjoy that just as much as their performances on the uh, big screen. But it's a really interesting discussion, and I think it leads us to where do we, as fans of this medium, stand, and how do we continue to advocate for the fact that what we experience on a day-to-day -day is art. And ultimately, video games are an artistic expression by a dev team. We're obviously in a very tricky part of the industry right now. AAA games have not been doing well. Layoffs have not been going well for the game industry. It's, it's obvious, right? And so we need to remind ourselves that there are people that are willingly doing stuff to create art, to create a vision that is based around artistic expression, human expression, the need to discuss emotions, the need to explore emotions, the need to explore what it means to be a human being. These things are all prevalent and exist within video games. And um, it's an amazing time to enjoy games and to be a part of the, the, constant cycle of games that come out i mean every month we have a new piece of art at our fingertips um and that's a really powerful thing i don't know what do you think about all this i i certainly am like well i don't want to crucify the guy but at the same time like eh, maybe you could have left that part out but also that's his own personal story and his personal journey so i mean i also can't you know i don't want to criticize him but at the same time why do we include instead of video games and what is the connotation there if any so I'd love to know what you think.